NVIDIA's latest moves are kind of terrifying. NVIDIA, the undisputed heavyweight champion of silicon, turning sand into sentient AI that can probably outcode you. You thought they were just for gaming? That's cute. For the last decade, they've been quietly building the foundation for our entire AI-powered future, and now they're cashing all the checks. But in the last 24 hours, they went on a bender that has Wall Street both terrified and throwing money at their screens. So what the hell just happened? Let's unpack the chaos. First, they dropped a cool $1 billion on Nokia. Yeah, the company that made your first indestructible phone. But this isn't about bringing back Snake. It's about a hostile takeover of the world's telecommunications infrastructure. They're leveraging Nokia's networking patents to build out AI-driven 6G. This isn't just faster Netflix, we're talking about AIRAN, a radio access network that uses machine learning to optimize itself in real time. It's the nervous system for a world of autonomous drones, IoT devices, and edge computing powered by their Gracehopper superchips. They're not just connecting to the cloud anymore, they're making the cloud omnipresent. Next, they've partnered with the US government and Oracle to build Solstice. It's a monster AI supercomputer powered by over 100,000 of their next-gen Blackwell GPUs. Its purpose? To tackle problems that make your senior-level coding interview look like a Hello World tutorial. We're talking climate modeling, genomic sequencing, and national security simulations. It's basically Skynet's nerdy, overachieving older brother that went to MIT. The insane parallel processing power here isn't just for making smarter chatbots. It's for building foundational models that could predict economic shifts or discover new materials. Then, Jensen Huang, in his signature leather jacket, casually mentions they're expecting $500 billion in AI chip orders over the next six quarters. That's not a financial forecast. That's a declaration of utter and complete market dominance. The demand for their Blackwell and Hopper GPUs is so astronomical, it's like the entire world decided to build the matrix, and they're the only ones selling the bricks. This isn't just about big tech. It's about every industry, from finance to healthcare, realizing they're screwed without a massive stockpile of tensor cores. The real genius here is the CUDA ecosystem. Their hardware is great, but their software is a fortress. They've spent 15 years building a moat of libraries, APIs, and developer tools that makes switching to a competitor a catastrophic nightmare. They don't just sell you the razor, they own the entire concept of shaving. And if that wasn't enough, they're shoving their AI chips into everything that moves. They're deepening their partnerships with Samsung and Hyundai to power the next generation of autonomous vehicles with their NVIDIA Drive platform. This isn't just about lane assist. It's about building a centralized AI brain for cars, trucks, and last mile delivery robots. Through their Isaac Sim platform, they let you train these robots in a virtual universe before they've even bent a single piece of sheet metal. It's the ultimate CI slash CD pipeline for the physical world. The bottom line, Nvidia isn't a chip company anymore. That's like calling the Roman empire a road building startup. They are systematically building the literal infrastructure for the next generation of reality. From 6G to sovereign AI to autonomous machines, they're playing 4D chess while everyone else is still trying to figure out how the pawns move. Is this the singularity? Probably not. But it's the closest thing we've got in this timeline. And it's all being rendered on an NVIDIA GPU.